Hello and welcome to my channel. I am back with another SQL problem. So in this video, I am going to show you a nice trick which can be very helpful when you are in an interview. So this trick is related to nulls in join. So when we join two tables and the joining column contains null value, that rows are not returned. So let me show you how two tables are joined internally. So to, ex to explain this thing, I have two tables here. So first table is product name which contains a product ID and name of the product and the second uh, table is product price where the first column is product ID and the second column contains the product price. Okay, so let me copy these two tables in a G sheet and then explain you how joins happens internally in SQL. Okay. So here I have copied that tables data into a G sheet and now I am going to explain you how the joins works internally in the SQL. Okay. So suppose we are joining on this product ID column. So what it will do, it will try to match this column with the, with the column of this table. So this, this first table will, this column will be matched with the column of this table. So this one will match here. So this row will be written okay again this one will be will be matched again this two but it's not equal so this will be not written this one again will uh, will try to match with this three again it's not equal so this will be not written okay so in this way this two will also this two will try to match with this column so it will not match here it will match here so this row will be written okay again this three will match here so this row will be written this 4 will match here so this row will be written okay and what happens when we have nulls in the join condition so null means nothing so if nothing is defined we cannot say one null is equal to another null if something is not defined we don't have any shape for that we don't have any magnitude of that so we cannot say that if one nothing is equal to another nothing so whenever null is there so this null this null is not equal to this null hence it will not match this null is again not equal to this null so again this will not match this will not match so whenever whenever we have nulls in the join condition join column so that rows are not written because null are not equal to null so this is the like how SQL works. So this is the default behavior of the SQL. So now suppose interviewer asks you to write a query in such a way that he wants the nulls, this, this null rows in the result set. So suppose he asks you to write the query in such a way that he wants result like this. So he want to get the null rows also like this. So this null will be matched with this null so this this is the resulting row and this null will match with the this null so this is the resulting row okay so let me show you the trick which i'm going to use so let me switch back to the sql editor so here i am in my sql editor so let me comment out this thing let me first show you the normal join so select from db dot product name pn product name inner join product price pp on pn dot PID equal to P P dot P I D. Let me run this and see. Okay. Let me select what columns I need. P N dot I want P I D. Then I want P N dot P name and then P P dot P price. So let me run this query and see what I get. So see, I don't have the null null rows here. So I have the four rows as I explained in the G sheet. So if you go to that G sheet, 
in the normal join we have four rows one two three four okay now suppose we want to have the null rows in the r sql in our sql so what i'm going to do now is so to get the null rows in the to join on the nulls and to get the null rows in the result set what i'm going to do is i'm going to write or colis of pn dot pid then one then uh, 100 let I'll, i'll i'll explain you why i'm writing 100 over there there equal to colis of pp dot pid comma one let me run this thing here it will be hundred okay now if you if you see here we have the null rows also so what i explained in the g sheet if you go to the g sheet see here we have that that two rows so one row is key uh, null and key v 140 null and key v 160 if you go to the result set also it's null and key v 140 null and key v 160 okay let me again go to the g sheet and explain you why this thing is working so when i'm putting null equal to 100 so this is going this is becoming 100 this is becoming 100 this is becoming 100 okay so now this 100 is matching with this 100 so this row is getting re returned okay and this 100 again matching with this 100 so again this row is getting returned so now let me explain you why i put 100 over here so if i put 1 over here if i put 1 over here let's see what happens if i put 1 over here so this one will match with this one this one will match with this one so these rows this two this two rows will be written as expected but again this will match with this one also and this again this will return one more row like this so this is not we wanted so this will be wrong that's why i have put 100 over here instead of instead of 1 so that this 100 will be not matched with the values in the, uh, the in this pid column okay so you can put a higher value which 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 you don't have in this column joining column so i have put 100 over here but you can put anything which you don't expect in this column okay so uh, like i have put 100 because i have values uh, till 4 only so if you suppose uh, you have a column which contains value up to 1000 or 2000 so you can put a very big number over there i hope you like this video and learn something new for more such sql videos you can subscribe to my channel until next time bye